the campaign builder. This is the coolest thing about Infusionsoft, in my opinion. Obviously, there's different opinions about Infusionsoft, but if I could choose one thing to keep and put in any other software that I used, it would be the functionality of the campaign builder. I'm going to dive into a very thorough demonstration of the campaign builder. Now, when people think campaign, they think marketing, right? Our campaign builder actually can be not only a marketing builder for your marketing workflows, it can be a workflow for your sales team, it can be a workflow for your project management, it can be a workflow for any type of uh, goal-based sequence or a goal-based action that you're looking to achieve. So, as you can see right here on my screen, it's just a little canvas, right? You can pull in things, uh, little widgets that you can just drag and drop. So let's say, for example, we start with our traffic sources. So we'll start with a little brief campaign just on a marketing background, right? Just as an overview. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to pull in something for my website, right? This traffic source is my website. Now, this is just a dead widget, as I call it. You double click on it, nothing happens. It's just to kind of demonstrate where leads are going to be coming from. Then we start with what we call goals. A goal would be something like someone coming to your website and signing up for a newsletter, right? These goals can actually be changed right here by clicking on the little purple thing. I can say, okay, it's gonna be a web form. Perfect, I want it to be a web form. If you want it to be like a landing page, or as you can see, we can click a link or reach a certain score for lead scoring, purchasing products. You can have all these be a goal that will then trigger something or trigger this campaign. So this initial goal in this situation is gonna be someone signing up for your newsletter. It then pumps over to a sequence. Right, a sequence is really where all the automation happens. So if I were to double click inside this goal, it would then lead me to whatever that goal is. And in this situation, it's going to be a simple web form. This web form is all drag and drop, however I want to build it out, create custom fields. The initial goal, then I can grab and go to code, uh, take this code and copy and paste it into my site. Once I've got that goal right on my site or whatever, I can then have it go to a sequence. If I double click inside the sequence, it then leads me to my workflow builder. So within the sequence, if we double click inside of it, now you're led to where we can build out a workflow. So as you can see right here, we have communications. This is usually if someone's going to your website filling out a newsletter, the first thing you want is an autoresponder, right? This is where I can create my email saying, thanks for signing up, right? As Soon as I have that email, depending on your situation, you can do a lot more. So we can have timers, and those timers can be things like I want to wait three days, right? Double click inside the timer, say I want to wait three days, and then maybe I want to deliver a second email. So as you can see within these, the three that you'll be typically using is timers, and those can be like a delay timer for waiting three days, a date timer saying, you know, the 24th of December, send an email saying Merry Christmas tomorrow, as well as a field timer. Now these are really cool. As you can see, if I double click in here, you can create things like for their birthday, right? three days before their birthday, send them an email. So as you can see, these are really for a specific function or a specific date only to that contact. So like their birthday, their anniversary, this is really cool for after they've purchased a product from you. If you wanna say, you know, an anniversary of that product, it's been a year since you purchased this from us. Or every three months after they buy, maybe you wanna send them something. So we can create all that as an automated workflow. And that's all on an external basis. Right? You also have the internal side for either inside sales teams or for workflow managers. For not only an external, I need to send out an email or a different type of communication, I'm going to need to have things like I need to create a task. Right? I need to assign an owner. I need to create an opportunity. As you can see, this is all really automated for me. And I can have it to where once I've created this sequence, anyone going to that campaign then is automatically pumped through here. So this is a very basic campaign as far as a sign up for newsletter and get sent an email autoresponder, right? We'll call this one auto. Another situation we can go through is, let's say for example, I'm, this is an ebook, right? We've got ebook A, right? They get the autoresponder sending them ebook A. We'll call this auto A. Now, let's say for example, we've got someone who downloaded ebook A, but then there's also ebook B that's out on the internet. If I want to have it to where this ebook B sequence is then responsive, we can actually build out and say, okay, if they've downloaded B, so, cool, sure, send them to B. But what happens if they've actually downloaded A and B? Maybe I want to have it to where we can then send them to something that's very specific to them. The cool thing about this is now I'm creating a customer experience. So if I download ebook B and I've already downloaded ebook A, as you notice, when I created these two sequences, 
and attached him to one singular goal, this little guy pops up. And this is the real true power of marketing automation. He can actually be set to say, if they only have downloaded ebook B, send them here. But if they've downloaded A and B, send them there. So you're looking at if thens, right? Within our marketing strategy, we can then create specific pipelines or specific experiences we want our customers to be seeing when they're achieving certain goals. And this can be applied across the board during many different types of goals. Typically here, if they downloaded multiple eBooks, I would want to have it to where maybe a sales rep's notified, hey, this person's really hot. Or sending that little message that says, hey, thanks for coming back and downloading a second eBook, right? It's a little tidbit right in there inside that email that really, as I'm looking at as a customer, I go, wow, they are paying attention. They care. And so from that, I'm going to be more likely to open emails, click on emails, and be a little bit more responsive towards you because I'm thinking, wow, you're not just kind of spraying stuff out on the internet and hoping I'm going to be catching it. We call it spray and pray, right? Spray an email out, hope everyone buys my stuff. This is going to be creating an experience for them so that way you set yourselves apart from your competition. Now, once we've created a goal and a sequence, that's step, step one, right? Step two would be what's the subsequent goal? So let's say, for example, I've sent them ebook A here, right? And one thing to mention is that this actually doesn't have to be just ebooks, it can be any type of goal. Um, we want to actually track maybe they're, that they're clicking on it. So as you see right there, I can have it to where the next goal is that they're clicking on it. Or if I want to actually do some testing and say which of the links they're clicking on, right? We'll say this is link A and link B. I can then create a specific pipeline for those people that gives them specific information. So as you can see, the campaign builder is extremely versatile and extremely customizable to your situation or what you what situation or what experience you want your customers to, to have. These also, we have a ton of different templates. We've got about 60 templates online you can just download really quickly in case this is seeming like, wow, I don't have all these things planned out. We make sure we actually set you up up front with these templates so that way you can have campaigns up and running within seconds. Right? Once you get them up and running, then you can pump people through and have your campaigns dictate what you want your customers to experience. So that way you're more likely, not one, to close the deal, and number two, you can even plan these things that get out referrals. And if you want to trigger things like from this link, I want to have a web form that asks for referrals, you can have all sorts of different things within the campaign builder to create whatever your process is, right? We call it lifecycle marketing, right? Coming from a lead up to a referral when someone is extremely satisfied, right? And then based on these uh, sequences and everything, you're creating this customer experience. So the next situation here is actually more of a workflow management. Like, let's get out of the marketing side. Let's say, for example, someone ends up purchasing a product, right? Either that's online, offline, whatever it might be. I can create it to where that might trigger certain tasks for fulfillment, right? Or if it, this doesn't have to be a purchased product, it can be a workflow off of something filling out a web form, whatever it might be, right? We can go inside of here and have it create multiple tasks. And if I want to assign these tasks to different people, I can, right, by assigning an owner. And then have it to where, if I want to track, you know, what stage that may be. This might be stage one, we'll call it. And I want to track when those tasks are done. We'll just have this guy say that these tasks are done. I can actually plug this goal and change him to when something completes a task. All right, so that way, once they complete that task, it might actually create a linear workflow for having other things happen for me. All right, I want it to, when they complete those tasks, send an email to the prospect saying, hey, just finished your implementation, you should be looking for a phone call. And then create that task for that, for that sales rep or for that um, implementation person or admin, whatever we want to call them, to then go ahead and call that person or maybe there's additional tasks that need to be done. But as you can see, you can then create a workflow with as many stages as required to then make it to where if you need to create a workflow manager, you have it right within Infusionsoft as well, coupled with your marketing. So that way you have your sales and marketing joined as one within one system. So if you feel like you need a little bit more workflow or you need to be able to have automated tasks given to you when certain things are done, please call your sales rep and we'll make sure we set you up with that.